So the first thing we need to do to solve a question like this is expand this. Then we'll swap in this value of x is equal to 0 0.1. And it won't be obvious, but if we manipulate it long enough, we'll end up with square root of 10 is equal to something. As I said, they'll tell you what that value is. They're not expecting you to make up your own value there. So part A then, let's do that quickly first. So square root, sorry, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x is 1 minus x to the power of? Minus a half. Minus a half. Brilliant. And then we just follow the standard formula. We want the first three terms. So we've got 1 uh, minus a half times minus x plus minus a half minus a half minus 1 over 2 factorial minus x squared. We don't need any of the other terms uh, in there because it says we can stop at that particular point and it's just now a case of simplification. So minus a half times minus x is plus a half x. Minus a half times by minus 3 over 2 is minus uh, that's 3 over 4, 3 over 8. So it's minus 3 over 8 x squared. So that's the standard bit of the question. That's the bread and butter, three, four marks of that question. What we do now for part B is this. We've got 1 over square root of 1 minus. Now they tell us x is 0 0.1. So I'm going to put 0 0.1 in there for x. And that's equal to this thing here. But instead of x, I'm writing 0 0.1. Okay, we happy with that? Mm -hmm. This as I say, doesn't look anything like the square root of 10 yet, but I need to just do a little manipulation and see what we get. So, what is 1 take away 0 0.1? 0 0.1. Which is also the same as it's a fraction? Yeah, 9 tenths. 9 tenths. Okay. On this side here, we can start doing a little bit of stuff to this. Uh, so that's 0 0.375, so that's 0 0.0375. 375. So, 1 over something, what can I do with the fraction? Flip it. Flip it. So I end up the square root of 10 over the square root of 9 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.00375. Can somebody work that out for me, quick, please? And while you're doing that, I shall carry on over here. Because, what's the square root of 9? 3. 3, so I've got that. The right-hand side yeah. equals 1.05375. Oh, we're taking away here, not adding. Oh. So go back and just change 1. that. 1.046. 1.046. 25. 25, great. And then to get the square root of 10, what do I need to do next? So we've got root 10 over 3 is equal to 1.04625. If I want the square root of 10, what do I do with this divided 3? Oh, time. Time to buy three. So can you do that for me, please? Uh, 3.1375. 3.1375. Okay. Now, the question doesn't ask us to work out how accurate that is, but just for the sake of doing it, what is the actual decimal value of the square root of 10? Just to see how close it actually is. It might be... Oh, we did it. We did something like this, yeah. 3.166. No, 6. It's just a little bit. And then it's a T. And then 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 T. And um, so as a percentage error, it's probably about 1% error, I would have thought. Um, so it is quite accurate. And they used to do this when they didn't have calculators, a way of calculating square roots and numbers as fractions. No, that's percentage error. So, we'll 